today I'll be teaching you guys turtle. The turtle is one of the most basic and foundational phrases that are out there. The turtle, this move will strain your wrist and it'll start to hurt your stomach, but that's normal. So push yourselves and take the pain. First, you need to find your belly button. And because I'm right-handed, I'll be shifting my right here. So to better find that spot, you'll point at your belly button and then at your side, then you'll move towards the middle and that's where the socket is. That's where you'll be placing your elbow. If you're left-handed, you'll be finding the middle here and place your left hand right there. Next, you'll be going into this position. From this position, you will lean forward and lift up your feet. Open up your knees. You'll stab your elbow directly on your stomach like this. You'll slowly put your head down. At this point, your stomach should be hurting. From here, you will lean forward and try to lift off your knee. If it helps, keep your head on the ground. You wanna try to hold this for 15 seconds, then 30 seconds, 45 seconds, then to a minute. There's no need for you guys to hold longer than a minute. By then, you are pretty comfortable with the move. So when you have your knees down with your head, you have five points of contact. Your head being one, your left hand being two, right arm being three, and both your knees being four and five. Once you're comfortable with that position, you'll be moving on to three points, which will be your head being one, your left hand being two, your right hand being three. Once you're comfortable with that position, you'll be lifting up your head and you'll be having two points of contact, which is your left hand being one, right hand being two. Once you're comfortable with two hands, you can try balancing with one hand. It's important that you guys don't rush into this process because you don't want to try to jump into one hand right away and only balance for a second. You want to understand how to balance turtle with two arms first and then move into one. To help you guys with this process, grab a chair or a bedside and hold on to it with one of your arms and try to balance with one hand. If you're lifting up your knees way too high, you're depending on your strength and you're going to be flipping over. Just lift up your knee just enough so that you're floating in the air. Another tip for this move is always to be leaning forward and not backwards. Bad. Good. Basically, it's not good to fall either or directions. You want to try to stay in the middle, but if you were constantly falling backwards, it's not a good thing. Because in order to lift off your knees, you have to lean forward and not backwards. So in the end, you want to try to lift off with your knees and not with your feet. All right, so another key tip about turtle is imagine a seesaw, right? If you have a seesaw. Your finger is your arm, this is your head, and this is your legs. You want to learn how to distribute your weight equally between front and back. You want to keep it right in the middle, lean forward, lean backwards, and try to find that balance. If your wrist starts straining, remember to roll it around and stretch it around. If your stomach starts hurting, just take the pain and just keep going. All right, you guys, and that'll be it for today. If you guys haven't seen my previous tutorial, click this box right here, and I'll be teaching you guys the sixth step. Remember to stay passionate, inspired, and grateful in all that you do. Practice hard, and I'll see you guys for the next tutorial.